Okay, so can you see my screen now? Yes, we can. Okay. So hi and welcome to the seven days online training program on Google Earth Engine for remote sensing analysis. Uh, so basically today I will try to discuss about that how we can easily make the land use land cover classification map using the machine learning. Okay, or crop classification map using the machine learning. So I will try to show you the all of the process step by step. So I hope you can easily apply this process and make any types of land use land cover classification map or group classification map or, or other types of classes you can easily classify it. So uh, then we also try to discuss about that how you can easily calculate it, the area for different uh, classes such as how much uh, crop land, how much build up area, how much barren land, how much fallow land. So this type of classes how many area we can also try to ca calculate it. And how to uh, make the only crop classification map okay you can create the classified map then you can separate the crop classification map and then how to calculate the accuracy assessment of this map so first of all uh, when you want to make the any types of land use land cover classification map it uh, has some process and this process is the same for all types of land use land cover classification map so we can just follow by step by step and we can easily make the land use land cover classification map so first of all we have to selecting our region of interest suppose i want to make the land use land cover classification map of crop or crop classification map for any specific region or a specific uh, boundary or a specific union a specific sub district so first of all i have to import my boundary shape file in google earth engine platform so this is the first step second you have to choosing and filtering the image collection if you want you can use the landsat image if you want you can also use the sentinel image or if you want you can also use the modis image so you have to choose and then filter the image collection according to your region according to your time period according to the image metadata filtering your uh, image collection this is the second step then you have to collect the training point okay so if you want you can collect the training form from the field go to the field and also take the gps location so this is the one way and another is that you can take the training point from the satellite images and when you want to take the training point from the satellite images then we have also need to apply the different types of process process means that we have to apply the some different types of band combination suppose i can use the different types of band combination and i can easily find out the different types of feature easily so I also try to discuss about that when I take the training point. So this is a third step. Then you have to merge all of the training point together. So suppose you can take the training point for the crop land, uh, crop, uh, crop, then take the training point for the build up area, then take the training point for the vegetation. All of the training point we can merge. After that, we need to create a training data set using this training point. So mainly this training data set is that prediction band. So basically satellite image has some band. So our main target is that we extract the band value from this satellite images all of the individual training point. Suppose when I take the training point from the water body, so it take the pixel value of band from water. So when I take the training point for the build up area, it take the pixel value from the build up area. So it uh, so it's called the data set. Okay, so all of the data set we can create from the training point. So every training point means that it has a pixel value. Suppose pixel value is the different for the water, cropland, barren land. Okay, different feature has the different uh, pixel value. So it's a data set. So this data set we can use for train our model and also check our validation. So in this time when I take the training data set. This data set I need to divide into two parts. So some data set I use train my model, and other data set I use for check my validation. So there are the different types of ratio we can use. One um, 80% data set for train the model, 20% data set for checking the validation, 
or 70% data for train the model or 30% data check the validation so this type of ratio and then we can divide the data set and also uh, train our model and after that also checking the validation of the data set and then create the classifier so classifier means that when i train my model i need a classifier so there are a lot of classifier is available in here such as random forest classification regression trees so mainly we are using here the random forest classifier and then classified our image and create the classified image after that display the result and print confusion matrix for accuracy assessment so in this time we can check the valid, uh, validation using the accuracy assessment from the confusion matrix table so here a uh, different way we can uh, create the confusion matrix table so i also try to discuss about that later how we can easily uh, create the confusion matrix table and when i can get the confusion matrix table from this confusion matrix table we can easily calculate the overall accuracy then kappa coefficient then producer accuracy then consumer accuracy so all of the accuracy we can easily calculate it from the confusion matrix and also check the valid validity of our land use land cover classification map of crop classification map and finally calculate the area for each classes so basically this is the process when you want to make the any land use land cover classification map in google earth engine platform first of all we have to import our shape file which area i want to classify it import then need to choose and filter your image collection then collect the training point if you want go to the field and import the shape file i also try to show you later for the gps how you can easily use that and if you want you can also take the training point from the satellite images okay then after that uh, you need to merge all of the training point and from all of the training point we can create the data set mainly this data set is track or the band pixel value and then create the classifier and classify the image and create the classified image and display the result and finally also create the confusion matrix for accuracy assessment and calculate the area for each classes so this is the process so in this time i follow all of the process step by step and then try to make the land use land cover classification map and also try to make the crop classification map crop land classification okay so let's go So just I simply open my so I simply open a new code editor. mainly today i also try to show you that how you can easily make this type of land use land cover classification map and uh step by step i also try to show you that uh, i already create this map and here i can get the 88 percent accuracy mainly i classified here the crop land build up area water body vegetation and barren land okay, and then classified this map and also check the accuracy assessment okay so this project i also try to show you a step by step another code editor so that you can easily identify all of the details about how you can easily create that okay so let's go the first step is that we have to import our boundary shape file so it's very easy way we can uh, import the boundary shape file from the asset tab so here i already imported my area of interest just simply click on the asset and okay so i simply imported the sub district shape file of bangladesh and import that import okay and then i simply filter my specific sub district area or upojela so simply take a variable suppose roi and filter this table filter art engine filter dot equal what's equal what uh, name three and then put here this suppose i want work for the rajarat upojila okay then 
all of the things will be same i want to display the result of the shape file map dot add layer and then put here the roi and also need to center object roi that's a stand and click the run so now okay so i can get my region of interest in here so in this time uh, this region i want to classify the cropland build up area vegetation and also panel land okay so in this time this is my first step is done second step is that i need to choose and filter image collection so if you want you can use the land set land set 30 meter resolution but a land set is mainly useful when you want to work for the past time period such as 1990 2000 this time period is okay for the land set but when you want to work for the present time such as present time then uh, sentinel is better because sentinel is only for the 12 meter resolution and we can easily use the sentinel imagery and also make the classification map okay okay so let's go so in this time i simply uh, go to search here such as sentinel okay so here i can get this sub i want to work for the multi spectrum instrument level 1c so then all of the things i can get in here so in this time i simply import this image collection in my code editor okay uh, image collection default variable name i simply change it suppose sentinel sentinel 2 so now this image collection i need to filter according to the according to this region according to the time period according to the image metadata okay so for that i simply take a variable suppose image and call my image collection such as sentinel2 use at the filter bounds function uh, Bounds with region of interest is ROI. Okay, then I simply put here the filter such as filter date. In this time, you want to put your own time period such as uh, different uh, season, seasonal. When you want to make the seasonal probe classification, put here the season time period. Uh, so, Aushamun bro, there the three season in here. So in this time uh, i simply put here this uh, one year image okay but we can also put here the specific uh, season image also so i put here the year of 2020 suppose first january 2020 december 31 okay and then i use here a uh, short function short according to the cloud pixel per sentence so I simply go to the image properties and paste here the cloud pixel per sentence. And also use here the false. After that, all of the image I create the composite or mosaic using the mosaic function. Amra jonga kena false use korbo. Tohon er je cloud pixel person is thakbe. Shab gulo gle remove kore debe. Remove hoye jabe. Without false, amra run kore dekhi ashe. Without false, tar pono mar false use kore. So then use at the clip function with if file is that ROI. Now display the result. Click 
Okay, so all of the cloud now present in here. So when I want to use that the false function and click the run again. So now all of the cloud pixel will be removed. And create this composite. My F person of cloud thagana. No. देखते <laughs> Check Kore, JD region na famous, I am the filter metadata use Kore, we label the increase Kutta Hobe. Different way them write a court filter in Kutta Badi MS. So I'm there J way them, Polish Karimis Papa, or wait I follow Kuru. Whatever a filter metadata would ever a short, on extra iconic mosaic, both the median to use Kore on a Balu Mesashe, but mean to use Kuran and Balu Mesashe. Okay, and also import this and then simply copy this variable name from here and paste after the object name. So this is our second step for filtering and visualizing the satellite images for the region of interest. So now third step. Third step is that in this time I use the I need to collect the some training point for individual feature. Suppose I collect the training point from the from the cropland. I collect the training point for vegetation, bare land, field of area. So in this time, there are the lot of way for uh, identify the different types of feature. Okay, so in this time, uh, mainly we are using the different types of band combination, and we can easily identify the different types of individual feature. So this band combination called the uh, red, green, and blue. Uh, it's called the RGB color. So RGB color, what human can uh, naturally uh, show. So it is a natural color also called. So in this time, uh, we can easily identify from the natural color, so barren land or vegetation. But when I want to identify the cropland as well as also other types of feature, then we have changed this band combination and we can easily identify this region. So in this time, from the satellite images, we can easily identify. So this type of uh, say that it's a barren land or fallow land, we can easily identify. Also, um, we can get the some okay so this is the build up area or settlement some settlement you can also get that's the white color pixel value you can also see the white color is also for in the river bank in here okay so sometime it also mixing with the barren land or barren land or build up area will be mixing each other so then we also need to increasing or decreasing the training point then it all also okay there is no problem for that so, uh, and we can easily identify this is the vegetation or trees a vegetation and crop land is not uh, same so it's so that why we also make the class for visitation and also make the class for crop land. Okay. So in this time, uh, we can also try to help the satellite images. When I want to get the training point, we can also help the satellite image, this satellite image. So click on here, then I can also get the better visualization. So in this time, here I can get the build up area, and I am not sure here the build up area or not. So I simply zoom in and also open this uh, base map of satellite images from here. And try to check it. It is a 
hesitation or it is a build up area or not so same case when you want to work with for the agriculture land then we can also also zoom in so here you can see this is our satellite image map so we can easily identify we can get the some uh settlement in here okay you can also get some hesitation or tree and in this in this time we can also get in here the some field or crop land okay so when i take the training point uh we are also uh, help from the satellite images and take the training point okay as well as we can also use at the different types of band combination such as i simply open this suppose So there's a landsat 8 band combination but uh, we can uh, use this uh, rule for all of the satellite images sentinel 2 or other things that change the band value or band number so in this time um okay so this is a natural color red green and blue for the landsat red green and blue uh this is the false color 543 and mainly agriculture we are using here the 652 and 6 is the short wave infrared one near infrared and blue so in this time i use here this band combination in here and then first take the training point for the agricultural land so agricultural land mainly we can get this uh, square shape or rectangle shape this type of shape we can get and from this we can take the training point and identify this is a agricultural land or crop land okay so short wave infrared one uh, near infrared and blue so short wave infrared one so i simply go to this image and check what is the short wave infrared one band name so short wave infrared one band in name is that b11 short b11 then near infrared near infrared b8 and uh two so b11 8 and two so i simply set here b11 then eight and two and eight percent and apply and it's very important for taking the training point uh, because uh, mainly uh, clan use land cover classification result will be defined on this uh, taking the training point if you want to get any mistake or any mixing then we did not get the proper result okay so in this time uh, i use this band combination and try to find out the crop land or agricultural land so mainly uh, you can see this type of pixel value it is a uh, crop land or agricultural land so if you have any confusion then you can simply and focus on this base map what is it we can simply focus we can see this is a crop land okay we can easily identify from this uh image this is the crop land okay so you can see i also open again okay so this land it is a crop land okay you can easily identify this this type of color is a, a crop land so suppose other place i also try to show suppose and if you have the ground truth data then is the we can easily use it suppose and it's a this this is the tree or vegetation it's not a crop land if you want to check this uh, it is the vegetation or crop land simply remove this and simply focus on your satellite images in this time we can easily find out the you can see different types of trees trees it's not a crop land okay so and it's very important for the visualization power when you want to take the training point suppose uh, this is the agricultural land i can easily identify i can simply uh, remove this and then simply focus on this base map of satellite so you can see this is the agricultural land okay on our satellite images so i can uh, use this training point as a agriculture or crop land so as well as suppose this is the agricultural land and this type of uh, this is agricultural land so i simply zoom in and check it
okay so agriculture land so i think uh this time uh this image is only for 2023 but i open this satellite image for 2020 so the, uh, this time is also some difference so in this time we can we can easily find out this is the agriculture but you can see uh for the 2023 uh this is the barren land or there is the no uh crop land in here okay so in this time i take the training point so first of all i take the training point for the crop plant so for the taking the training point we can use here this marker tool if you want you can also use at the square but marker tool is very easy way for, because i can easily take the point in here so simply click on here the marker and you can see geometry will be added i can simply click on here and then put here suppose crops and then put here the feature collection then property property in this time i select the property uh, is the same so all of the class property will be same so i same the property suppose class and set the value for zero so in this time all of the crop training point value will be zero suppose i can take the training point for the crop plan 34 so all of the training all of the 34 training point value is zero okay so click okay okay and also open the satellite images and we can also see some uh, agriculture land in this river bank okay also okay so we take the training point suppose because in this place they are also cultivated different types of nut okay so that's why it also and uh, okay so i simply take the training point from the probe also take this from here And this is a crop plant. I simply zoom and check it. You can see the crop plant. So I simply take this training point. And also this is a crop plant. This is a crop plant. Suppose this is a crop plant. in this time they are in the present time there is a no crop but you can see when i open this image you can get this crop plant pixel value this color crop land uh, 
I think some networking machine here, so that's why the background map is not loaded. Yeah, this is a crop plant. Uh, this is a crop plant. I have a urgent phone, then I take it and continue this one minute. Sir. Okay, so we also need to the training point for suppose agriculture land. This is the agriculture. So I simply take this training point from here also. Okay, now so in this time I take the training point. So if I did not get the better result for agriculture or accuracy is the low, then we can also again take the training point. Okay, so this is the crop. I take this training point for the crop. Okay, so in this time, I take the training points uh, for suppose build up area or settlement. Just put here so this. Settlement and put here this feature. And in this time, property that class and set the value for one. So now I take the settlement. So, so I take the another band combination for identify settlement. Suppose I want to use here the natural color, and then I can easily find out that's four, three, two, RGB, red, green, and blue, and apply. Okay, so now it's a rural area, so that's why settlement or our build up area is the very low. So some white pixel you can see. So it is a settlement. So I can simply uh, uh and then focus from the satellite image. Say what is it? Yeah, so this is some settlement in here. You can see. Okay. So I take the training point for the settlement first training point from here. There's a white pixel, okay? Settlement. So we can also get the some white pixel in here, you can see. I can zoom in. So this is a white pixel, it's identify the settlement. As well as you can also get the some settlement in here. Okay. 
take the scanning point the settlement the settlement the settlement আমরা যদি জুম করি জুম করলে আমরা সহজেই বুঝতে পারবো পেজ ম্যাপ ফ্রম স্যাটেলাইট তারপর এখানে একটা সেটেলমেন্ট তারপরে এখানে একটা সেটেলমেন্ট হোয়াইট পিক্সেল Canada settlement Upper we can settlement okay. then next suppose in this time I take the training point for the visitation so click on here let here visitation visitation and teacher collection uh, class and set the value for 0, 1, 2, 2. Okay. For 0, 1, and 2. Okay. In this time, hesitation. So, mainly hesitation, we are using this band combination. That says 5, 4, 3. Near infrared, red, and green. Okay. Near infrared, red, and green. So, mainly it uh, useful for analyzing vegetation. So, 5, 4, 3. Near infrared, red, and green. So, I simply select here the near infrared. Near infrared is the B8. Near infrared, red. Red and green or blue. Green, yeah. Green. Custom, 98%. And apply. okay yeah. so hesitation uh we can easily identify the hesitation hesitation mainly uh, this type of color okay so this type of color hesitation or trees i'm gonna zoom code in so there are the different types of trees in here so we identify this is the hesitation Take the some training point for the visitation. It is agricultural land, agricultural land, agricultural land, agricultural land, and it's a visitation. Okay. 
visitation or we can also use the another band indices a band convention such as 11 b8 and b2 okay so this is a visitation the visitation or trees not the crop land or agricultural land. This is agricultural land. Agricultural land. This type of agricultural land. Agricultural land. It's agricultural land in here. Agricultural land. It's agricultural land. It's agricultural land. এটা কোন ব্যান্ড কম্বিনেশন দিলেন এটা হচ্ছে নিয়ার ইনফ্রারেড রেড না নিয়ার আর শর্ট ওয়েভ ইনফ্রারেড 1 দেন হচ্ছে নিয়ার ইনফ্রারেড আর হচ্ছে আপনার ব্লু মানে b11 b8 আর b2 হ্যাঁ তাহলে इट्स एग्रीकल्चर ফুল ক্রমে যদি কোনো পয়েন্ট পড়ে যায় जारेक्षा এগ্রিকালচার ল্যান্ড আচ্ছা ব্যান্ডটা যদি আর ব্যান্ডটা যদি আরেকবার বলতেন প্রথমে নিয়েছিলেন 543 না হ্যাঁ 543 হ্যাঁ সবগুলো আমরা এই লিংকেই পাবো দেন তারপর এই লিংকেই সবগুলো পাবো তারপর আরেকটা নিন আচ্ছা তারপর আমরা এর উপর আরেকটা নিন না হ্যাঁ 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 এটা ছিল আপনার এটা কোনটা এই 543 এটা হচ্ছে নিয়ার ইনফ্রারেড রেড এন্ড গ্রিন হ্যাঁ এটা দিয়ে তো প্রথমে করলাম তারপর এগ্রিকালচার এগ্রিকালচার 652 এটা হচ্ছে আপনার শর্ট ওয়েভ ইনফ্রারেড হ্যাঁ এগ্রিকালচার 652 ঠিক আছে বাট প্রেজেন্টেশন এর ক্ষেত্রে 543 দিয়ে করলেন নাকি পরে আরেকটা নিলেন ডেজিটেশন এর ক্ষেত্রে ওকে সো এই অন্য কালারটা দেখলো আচ্ছা এটা কোনো ভেরি কয় না স্যার এটা আমরা যে কোনো ব্যান্ড সুবিধা মতো নিয়ে জাস্ট আমরা ভিজুয়ালাইজ করতে পারলেই হবে আপনি এটাও নিতে পারেন অথবা আচ্ছা যে কোনো ব্যান্ড কম্বিনেশন নিয়েই আমরা কাজ করতে পারবো শুধুমাত্র আমাদের ট্রেনিং পয়েন্ট পরের ব্যান্ডটা ভালো দেখা যাচ্ছে সেটাই বললাম আর কি হ্যাঁ 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 সেটা কোনটা সেটা কি নিলেন এটা ছিল আমাদের ফলস কালার কম্পোজিট রেড কালার সো 543 এর হচ্ছে নিয়ার ইনফ্রারেড নিয়ার ইনফ্রারেড হচ্ছে আপনার b8 b8 দেন b8 দেন হচ্ছে আপনার রেড রেড হচ্ছে b4 b4 দেন হচ্ছে b3 b3 আর পরেরটা নিলেন তারপর আছে b11 শর্ট ওয়েভ ইনফ্রারেড 1 b11 তারপর হচ্ছে b b4 রেড b4 এন্ড ব্লু তারপর ব্লু b3 ব্লু ব্লু
वाटर बडी दें टेक दैरन लैंड There is a no limitation. We can take any class, but water board we can easily find out here. So class one and three. Okay. So finally, we can take the training point for the water body. So water body mainly when I use this band combination, uh, then water body will be drag color. So this is the water body drag color. So when I use this band combination, such as um. Short wave infrared one, red band and green band. Then water body will be black color. So I simply take the training point for the water body. This is the water body. And all of the black pixel value in this time represented the water body in this satellite images. So this is the water body. If you want to check it, you can simply go to the satellite image, a uh, base map satellite image, and also check it. It is the water body or not? We can find out. This is the water body. The water body. So I take the training point for the water body. The water body. And it also water body. I check it from the base map. Water body. Okay. So take the training point as a water body. Water band. That one. Kiki, na. I miss you. Regi sikto. Water body. It khetse. Amra. Jokon amra event de use korbo. Short wave B eight four three. Jokon shop gulo black or dark pixel value will be water. B eight four three. Okay, take it. About water body. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, this is the water body. Take the training point for the black pixel value or black water body. Okay, done. So we take the training point. So mainly we are using here the different types of band combination for identify the different types of feature easily, and then take the training point and make the classification. Okay, and then finally we take the training point for the barren land. So. For the barren land, feature collection property will be class and set the value for zero one to three or four. We can check it zero one two three four. Okay, it will be four. We start from zero and finally four. Okay. So now barren land. So barren land mainly we are using this band combination six five two. It also helps you for identify the agricultural land as well as also fallow land or barren land. We can easily find out. So six five two is that uh, short wave infrared one near infrared and blue. Short wave infrared one. So I simply select here the short wave infrared one. So B eleven and then red and blue. Okay, custom interface. So now apply. So now I can find out the fallow land or barren land as a brown color. And take the training point from here. So all types the fallow land or barren land. Okay, this is a barren land. This is a barren land. Barren land. Barren land. Barren land. Okay. 
So now take the training point. This is barren land, and in this um, region, there is a lot of barren land. So I simply take this training point, barren land. So this is a barren land. So it's also barrel or river bank. And in this uh, river uh, barrel land, there are also some cultivated, some nut or other types of uh, crops in here. So this is barrel land. And this is the crop land of the nut. We already take the training point from here. So now take the training point for the barren land. Yeah, class <laughs> for the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, done. Now uh, we are applying the uh, machine learning method and then check what the condition of this map. And then we face any uh, problem or any mixing with build up area or barrel land. So then we also uh, rearrange the training point, increasing or decreasing the training point. Then we can also fix the problem and also increasing the uh, map accuracy. Okay, so this is our third step is done. So, first step we have to import our shape file. Second step is that we have just filtering our image collection in this time we are using here the sentinel 2 satellite imagery and then third step we take the training point in this time our fourth step fourth step is that we have to uh, collect the training point oh sorry we have to just merge all of the training point so merge all of the training point together so this is very easy way we can easily merge for merging just simply take a variable suppose sample so now uh, merge all of the training point together such as props then use at the merge function props merge with settlement it also merge with vegetation then merge with water body water then then merge with Berlin. Okay. So now I merge. So all of the uh, sample, all of the training point merge and store it in a variable. If you want to check what is the condition, just simply use the print function and call the samples and print this value. So now we can get the value. How much sample I take for this classification? All of the um, value we can easily find out in feature collection. Okay, so now for this classification, we are using here the total. 322 training point okay as well as we can also use here the all of the things from here we can easily get suppose here the list from 0 to 321 okay all of the training point list we can get in here 21 and uh, it also stored all of the value which i set in here suppose uh, suppose uh, 15 number training point what is it simply click on here here i can get the coordinate about this training point uh, point and also get for zero so zero means that this training point I used for get the uh, training point for crop. 
because class is the zero and when i want to take the training frame for the crops i set the value for zero so then suppose uh, 140 this training point i simply check the information this is the coordinate for 140 this training point i use for class 2 it means that i use for the vegetation 